Hello, hope you are having a fantastic day. Welcome to today's video. If you are planning to buy a shipping container for your dream home, this video will explain to you on how to buy a shipping container for building a container house in five simple steps. Stay tuned to find out how. Good, welcome back. Whether you are buying a container for shipping or you want to convert it into a residential house or you are even buying it for storage purposes, the key elements of purchasing a container must be followed. Ensure that you are buying a shipping container from a reputable source. Ensure also your shipping container is in good condition and last but more importantly, you are buying it at a good price. You can therefore buy a shipping container for your dream house in the following five simple steps. Step number one, choose the type of container you want. Since we are buying our shipping container to build a container house, the choice of our container to pick will depend on one, the type of container that is appropriate. So you choose either a dry container or a reefer or in other words a refrigerated container. A dry container is that type of container that is used for shipping or transporting dry goods which is also ideal for a mobile office or a residential home. This is the most common or what people would call a standard shipping container that you see in your everyday life. A reefer on the other hand is used to ship and store anything that is perishable. They are basically refrigerated containers. Reefers have polyester insulation on the inside. It is not really advisable to use a reefer for building a shipping container house. Secondly, you'll have to look at the condition of the container you intend to buy. So you'll have to decide if you want a new container or you want a one-trip container or even if you want to buy a used container. Using a new container would be the best option, but this will negate the whole concept of affordability and sustainability when building a shipping container house. One trip containers are preferable because they have less or no blemish and they are also cheaper than new containers. On the other hand, old containers would be the cheapest option. However, old containers come with challenges of dampness, corrosion, deformed corners, dented walls, and buckled roof panels. So buying an old container may be cheap in the short term but will cost you a lot to restore and maintain. Last but not least, under this section, you'll have to decide the size of container you want. Yeah? So containers come in various sizes. You may want a larger or a smaller container depending on what you need it for. So the containers range in terms of length from 6 meters to 16 meters. The range in terms of height is from 2.6 meters up to 2.9 meters. The width of most shipping containers is more or less standard at 2.4 meters. But however, you can find wide load shipping containers that measure up to 2.6 meters. So. Now that we want to use our shipping container for constructing our container house, high cube containers are normally a foot taller than standard containers. So this makes them a popular type for shipping container homes. Remember to note that interior dimensions may vary between manufacturers. On the other hand, reefers will also have less interior space because, because they also have refrigeration and ventilation units on the inside. After identifying the choice of container you want, the next step is to locate a seller. 
So how do you go about finding a suitable person to sell you a shipping container? First, you need to find a certified dealer. Look for a dealer through the Intermodal Steel Building Units or ISBU Association. A member of the ISBU will have a vetted business history and therefore is certified to give you the correct type of shipping container in the right condition. Another alternative to locating a seller for your container house is to consult other sellers. Yeah, Visit your local port or a port that is next to where you want to build and you are encouraged to consult with the freight container dealers to help you locate a suitable seller. Next, you also need to look for container warehouses. This is another place where you can get a possible seller. So to find out a container warehouse is... So if you are buying your shipping container near a port, looking for a container warehouse would be a better option. The last option is to find a seller online. You can check on eBay, Craigslist, Amazon, or even Alibaba. So we will be doing a detailed video on how to buy a shipping container online. You are encouraged to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that when we post that video, you will get a direct notification. Step number three is to inspect the shipping container. So if you are buying your shipping container remotely, you are encouraged to request for photos and a written or oral report on the condition of the container you intend to buy. You need to specify that you want high quality photos of all the size of the container inside and out. You also need to get additional photos for the top and the bottom and also for the floor and the ceiling and even the container doors. And now that you are buying it remotely, you are encouraged to ask your remote seller to demonstrate this to you by photographing the container's roof from the inside on a sunny day. So if you are in a position to see the shipping container yourself, you are encouraged to examine it thoroughly before any purchase. Check the top and the bottom floor and ceiling and also you need to check the doors plus the locking gear. These are the areas that are prone to corrosion and they can be very detrimental for you to use them for a shipping container house, especially if you want to stack it as a storied building. You are also encouraged to do a smell test for any mold or toxic spills. Evaluate whether the container is watertight by going inside the container and look for any sunshine that comes through holes or cracks in the walls and the roof of your shipping container. The fourth step is to finalize the purchase. Once you settle on one or two or three or the number of shipping containers you need to buy, the first thing is to do is to have a price comparison. Assess the cost of the freight container, compare the seller's price to prices of other sellers in the region or in the area where you are buying. Check the web for to also compare the cost of containers similar in size and condition to the one you are buying. Try to negotiate a better price if you see similar containers or similar uh, sellers. Another thing you need to do when you are at come again. Another thing you need to do when you are at the purchasing stage, you need to confirm ownership of that container. Make sure no one else owns the container. Determine whether the container you want to buy is not owned by a shipping company and when you buy it from any other source. Write down the container number and call the company that should be listed on the side of your shipping container. This is very important lest you be sold a stolen container. So the last stage is to have a well thought out container delivery process. Ask the seller if they will deliver the container and how much delivery will cost. Find out if they will deliver by tilt bed trailer, which allows you to position the container where you want it, or by a flatbed truck, which will require a forklift 
or a crane to unload the container so that you can position it at the right place where you want to build your container house. Also find out if you'll need a license to operate either piece of equipment. If you want to have your shipping container placed in an area that doesn't have much clearance space, then you may have to hire someone with a crane to lift the container into the desired position if it was delivered with a tilt bed trailer. You also need to try buy from a local company if you want to avoid high delivery costs. Last but not least, you need to be prepared to rent a flatbed or a tilt bed truck to pick up your container if the seller will not be delivering it to you. So, did you find our analysis exhaustive enough to enable you purchase a shipping container for your dream house? If you feel we've left out anything, feel free to add by posting in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our weekly videos on amazing design ideas from shipping containers. Bye for now and see you in the next video.